Hello and welcome back to Stellaris. So, I did notice over here I have forgotten to claim one system. So, I feel like we should claim that system. Uh, Kofefi. Was that not a meme at some point? I'm fairly certain it was. Anyway, so now we've got all of that, which is fantastic. Is there anything we want from over here in Galactic Bavi? I just want to see if anyone's got any claims. So you... Currently unclaimed, you say? I mean, that kind of implies it has been claimed, the uh, thing in the middle of it. Sathrathi's... yeah. For some reason it says that's unclaimed. I'm fairly certain Sathrathi have claimed it. Yeah. Yeah, have they claimed all of this? Yeah, pretty much all of it. Okay, that's fine. And then over here... I mean, it might be interesting to grab one. Uh, no, Sathrathi have got it. Okay, so unless we want to just take what they've already claimed, I think we're probably chill here for what... We, we've got what we're going to get out of that. Cool. And that's everything that's going to be in our next war. Awesome. Right, next thing we need to do is build. So, let's get to building. So some of these places still have issues. Like this one has a worker issue. How are we gonna fix a worker issue? So cultural worker jobs, what are those? They're not actually cultural jobs, are they? Uh, sorry, they're not actually worker jobs, no. So I did build a holo theater. If I upgrade that, we get an entertainer. Are entertainers actually, oh, entertainers aren't workers, oh. Oh, all right. Well, I'm just going to replace that with commercial zone then. I'll fix their problem. Although then they're going to have problems with the... Yeah, then they're going to have problems that these two workers are now somewhere else. So I then need to create artisan jobs. Okay, that's fine. So that'll fix that. Costa. Upgrade. Uh, then... Oh, then we can just take one of those. Because soldier jobs are um, basic, right? Yeah, they are worker jobs. Perfect. So that'll work. Raconex. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this one's easy. We can just grab a singular uh, administrative office. Mars. Well, you can start helping our food problems more by uh, doing another hydroponic farm. It's all right. Hydroponic farm. Awesome. They can't be upgraded, which is interesting. Uh, Beyonce. We can grab, we're looking for worker jobs. Now, again, entertainers aren't actually workers, which is not why this isn't actually fixing our issue of needing workers. So, uh, let's go for a commercial zone. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll figure it, I'll explain why that wasn't working. This one, uh, civilian industries. Okay, cool. Luna. Oh wait, did you have a problem? No, you didn't have any problem. Luna does have this problem, though. Okay. I was thinking there for a second, uh, did they have a problem of uh, not having any jobs? But no, they're fine. Luna needs that. You also need a commercial zone. Europa needs a commercial zone. Ganymede needs a... I see you've still got work... You've still got jobs open. Okay, and you don't have any workers waiting. That's fine. Same here. It looks like you're going to run out of jobs soon. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab that, that, maybe that as well. Titan? I think I might just go commercial zone on Titan, actually. This one, let's upgrade it with another commercial zone. This one, upgrade it, another commercial zone. Upgrade it. Now, I built these, but it's absolutely pointless to build that, so yeah, okay. And then research, we can go, we can't get the research institute until it builds. Okay, cool. Keep heading down. You're still fixing yourself, cyber. That's an upgrade. Then we think. I didn't build a commercial, I did build commercial zones, okay. I, I didn't build an entertainment zone there, that's good. Uh, another commercial zone would be fine here. This one. Uh, looking for another worker job. Oh, I can just build an alloy foundry. Yeah, that's okay. This one... You got some odd stuff happening here. I, I don't entirely know what's going on. But I'm building city districts, so that's fine. I'll leave you be. Until we're until we're finished with that, I'll leave you be. Here, uh, you again need worker jobs, so commercial zones. This one... I don't know. I don't know about this one. I guess maybe a commercial zone? Yeah. Get more jobs available. 
Latinu. I have to upgrade one of these. How are we looking on crystals? We did get five more crystals somewhere. Yeah, we're actually well good on crystals. Okay, that's fine. Here, Alloy Foundry. Again, just the right, right option, really. This one, we'll get Civilian Industries. Civilian Industries. These are just doing fantastically as worlds, all the Holy Worlds. It's great. Right, that's all right. Oklar. So you have enough jobs so we can probably actually get yourself exotic gas here again. Yeah, because that will allow us to get... Wait, will it? That will allow us to get one more building, but then we can build another building and that will get us to there. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, here you need worker jobs, so I guess I'll upgrade both of those. Okay. We're getting some quite large populations now, which is causing a slight issue. Alloy foundries. I mean, what am I even meant to do here? <laughs> I guess I upgrade one of these. Yeah, I'll upgrade that one. Then replace this with a commercial zone. Yeah, that'll work. Atomod. Oh, I can just build you... See, the thing is, if I build them an administrative office, that's not going to fix their issue. Because they're not going to get up to five in terms of number of available jobs. Yeah, there we go. Commercial zones will uh, fix that issue. Yeah, I built a lot more commercial zones the later the game's gone, haven't I? Uh, upgrade that, and then you can get another soldiery thing. Uh, wait, where is it? No, no. Ah, it's over here. What's a military academy? One start a job, army starting experience. We don't really need that, do we? That's also one soldier job. Uh, we could grab that, but that would mean I'd have to actually remember to build my things here, which I'm not going to. This one? You're missing one housing. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll get you... Uh, yeah, both of those seem fine, and then maybe one of those. That'll work. Here. Uh, upgrade. Civilian Industries. Upgrade Habitat. Awesome. Next one. Uh, that's just straight up Upgrade Habitat, right? Yeah, and then maybe upgrade one of those and that'll get the job sorted. Alright, a rule. Um, an Alloy Foundry would fix that issue. Sildoria. Yep, single upgrade there will do it. Here. You still have luxury residences? I think we change a generator to a city. Right? So those have the same number of jobs, but... That gets us an extra eight housing. We can then replace this... With... Well, I guess we'd replace it with a commercial zone. Yeah. And then that'll leave us the right amount. Perfect, right. Here, um, that's an upgrade of a commercial zone, although what's this? Oh, that's the alien zoo, I see. Yeah, I guess commercial zone's fine. I should probably reduce uh, pop growth on some of these, but right now it's not a huge strain on our resources, so that's fine. Yeah, commercial zone. Here. Two workers, huh? You only get an extra one there. Can I upgrade? No. I have an anti-crime campaign. Yeah, we can end that. I think we just upgrade that. It's okay. Here. Minus a housing. So, minus housing, you switch a mining to a housing. That's okay, so that fixes that. Then we upgrade one of those. Perfect. Mining station. Uh, do we have any upgrades we can do here? No. Probably means I should switch one of those over. I built luxury residences. Did I really do that? Why? It's not going to fix our issue. 
Yeah, replace that with a habitation. Then replace the luxury residences with commercial zone. Much more efficient. Here, um, you need something that gives you jobs. And this can give a lot of jobs if I upgrade it. So actually, I might go hollow. Yeah, I might go hollow theaters. That's okay. Mechon. Mechon. Upgrade one of these. I'll fix their one. Mining station. Uh, so at least upgrade one of those. I think what I might do is this. There we go. Here. I'll replace that with commercial zone. Yeah. That one's straightforward. Factory station. Um, play another civilian industries. And we can't upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade. Perfect. Yeah. Mining. Uh, I guess we want the mining upgrade building. But that doesn't give us enough jobs to really work. Yeah, I need something that gives more jobs. Which I think means we want a commercial zone. As we pretty much always do. Here, um, well, this is, wait, what's this? Huh? What? Why do I even have that? Some of these must not be ones that I made, because they're just garbage. Like, why, why would I be, why would I have this thing? I could just replace it with anything. And it would be better. You know what? Let's, let's replace two of our mining district, the cities. Right? That'll give us an extra 16. Then I take away this, which puts us down to 9 extra, which means we're 6 above. And I'm going to replace it with a commercial zone. Yeah. Alright, here. Workers. Um, we can switch this one over to a commercial zone. That'll help. Bad, yeah, switch it to commercial zone and upgrade it. That's the fix. Here, we're minus three worker jobs. Well, we can get one of those, which is fine. And then maybe one of these that gives us worker jobs, like, I don't know, trade district. Awesome. Here. Um, now, I know I can do the crystal thing, but does the crystal... Do I have another upgrade on here? No. Okay. So I need an actual job here, because I need to get up to five. So... Let's get ourselves a commercial zone. This one, uh, I'm feeling a commercial zone coming along. Yep. This one, now I got this theater, but that, that's obviously garbage because I meant to get one of those. Yeah, and then also I want uh, one of those. This one, double resource silos is actually still fine here. Uh, no upgrade to the habitat. No upgrade to the habitat. Colonia's home. So Colonia's home, uh, we just upgrade this. There we go. I'm sure some of these I've set up before and I'm like, yeah, you just set it up for an upgrade and off we go. Ah, it's a resource. It's our resort world. So, I get more housing by upgrading it, which I should do. Then I think I go commercial zone. Yeah, because then I'll have enough housing to house the jobs that we're going to generate. Yes. That seems about right. And then the next one has to be housing on it, I think. Uh, this one, minus two specialist jobs. Uh, let's upgrade that, and then also replace this with a commercial zone. The reason I'm replacing it with a commercial zone is we want to lower pop growth. Not, not remove it altogether, but just, like, lower it slightly. We're going to come back to this one in a bit. It's going to have problems. Here. Uh, another commer another civilian industries. This one. That's going to be an alloy foundry. Here. We're missing a worker job and housing. So let's replace one of those with a city district. That gets housing. Then I guess I'll upgrade both of those. That'll get us worker jobs for just now. Mining world, uh, civilian industries. This one, we're minus housing, so upgrade. 
get ourselves a clerk job, and then probably resource silo. Nori, minus two worker jobs. Oh, right, even me. I was going to say it's easy, just upgrade something, even easier, just replace with commercial zone. Stargroove. Stargroove, um, I, I am going to reduce our food intake even more, which isn't great, but that's fine. So that fixes that issue. Now we need some worker jobs. Let's go upgrade, upgrade. Cool. Clover bed. Um, you're going to run out of housing soon. Do you have an upgrade? No. I actually, as much as I hate it, I think we build luxury residences. I'm going to come back to that later and go, why did I build luxury residences? That makes no sense. That's okay. Here, uh, we should be good building another chemical plant. Yeah, chemical plants. There we go. Here, we're down housing, but that's okay. We can upgrade. Upgrade. Probably upgrade that as well, just while we're here. Here, uh, I do want more chemical plants, so I guess we'll have one of those. So are we still low on that? We are still a little low. Although we're getting better. Okay, cool. This one? Um, we're going to be low on housing. I need to build luxury residences. That's alright. Another one of those. Prance one. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, one of those. One of those. Upgrade here. And then maybe a resource silo will be fine. I think it will. Anyway. We'll see when we get back to it later, how, we're, how I feel about it then. This world, uh, you have a ton of jobs available, so right now we can just get you, um, I don't know, chemical plants, because that's what we need. Sidimus Primus, um, one upgrade. Cool. What's this thing? Alright, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, I still don't know whether that's worth keeping on there, but that's fine. We already It's already built. Upgrade that, upgrade that. Perfect. This one. Upgrade that. Does that give us any... Might give us more housing as well, actually. I'll see how it looks after the upgrade. That might actually give us enough housing. Alright, upgrade. Upgrade. Resource silo. I like the resource silos because it delays how often we have to do this, basically. Um, they don't really give any benefit other than that, so it's fine. I think I want to build a civilian industries, and then I'm going to replace this with a commercial zone, because we've, we've got as much as we need on there. Here, double upgrade of the commercial zones. Yep. Next one. I guess another alloy foundry will do here. This one, we're looking at administrative offices. This one, replace that with a city. That fixes your issues currently. Fine. <laughs> Whiskar 1. Whiskar 1. I don't even know if we need the Sky Dome. But that's okay. I'm going to build another um, resource silo. Ah, right, we're here, yeah. So now we're down on jobs, so I'm just gonna... So that should give us enough jobs here. Let's see if that works. This one, uh, another commercial zone. And then an upgrade of an old commercial zone should work. You're still building? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll let you build, and then we'll figure out where we need to be after that. Here, uh, civilian industries. This one's, again, Civilian Industries. Upgrades. Um, replace with Commercial Zone. Replace with Commercial Zone. Um, replace with City District. There we go. Here, we're looking at... Uh, resource Silo is probably going to be fine. It's alright. Next one. Minus on housing, so 
Upgrade. Upgrade. Get yourself yet another commercial zone. We're going to have a lot of jobs available there. Uh, commercial zone. Upgrade. Upgrade. One of those. Uh, one of those. And... Then also one of these, maybe? Marfec Prime. Oh, this is a wonderful one. Let's get another Civilian Industries. Okay, we're almost through. Uh, this one, that's going to be yet another Civilian Industries. Then resource uh, or research station here. Although I maybe want to replace all my research stations. I don't know. It, 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 the whole thing is I don't know what the end of the game thing is. As in I don't know how difficult it is or what I need to be building for it. So basically I'm assuming that getting as many tech upgrades as possible seems like a good idea. It does make me stronger and it's one of the few things that can. So I guess we'll keep doing it. Yeah, one of those, one of those and... It's gonna give me eight more housing. Yeah, we should be fine. One of those. Upgrade. Replace. Wait, what do I have here already? Yeah, replace that with a city district. Wonderful. Here, uh, we're gonna get another resource silo. Corval Prime 2. That's a resource silo if ever I've seen one. Basically, we get these really nice worlds, and we just fill them with resource silos. It's like, this is just where we keep our stuff. Uh, upgrade and upgrade. Cool. And that is all of that done. We do have some next bits to upgrade. We do have some more bits to upgrade in here. <laughs> uh, but we can do these quickly. So, uh, upgrade. I should probably think about the defense platforms some more, because we can probably build the better ones as well. But that's okay. As in, we probably could build, instead of having lots of these defense platforms, uh, build just ion cannons, but hey, whatever. Maybe the mix is good. Who knows? Oh, also, yeah, okay, these don't need upgraded. I guess they were built after we got upgrades. That's fine. Oh. I think that worked, even though I might have messed it up slightly. Cool. Actually, get rid of all of these. I think I might I can do that better. Yeah, okay. That's better. Okay. Uh those then upgrade. That's fine. This one. Yeah, fine. Fine. We are definitely getting through our alloys quickly doing this, which is good. Which is kind of the purpose of doing it. Although I did notice in the last war, we definitely had one that could have done with some defenses on it. And it wasn't one of these ones. As in, it wasn't a shipyard, but... Shipyards are just a nice way to draw a line. It's a way to say, like, yeah, we'll focus on these ones first. Grab an ion cannon, grab even more of this. Grab that, grab even more. And another one. Yeah, oh yeah, that's that one right there. Yeah, there's no way that's ever connecting with anything. And it's a good one to have defended, actually. Because, you know, it's right in the center of the enemy territory. Still don't know where the skull level enemy went from last time. Uh, it doesn't seem to have resurfaced, so... I mean, that's good. Um, it was slight, It was a slight worry to me, but I'm assuming that it just left after doing something. Right, now, all of these... Uh, there is an upgrade button, isn't there? Uh, if I find one that isn't upgraded. Are any of these not upgraded? They're all upgraded. Alright, well, I guess I'll just do it then. Right, um... So I guess I just want to go gun batteries on these, essentially. Yeah. Gun batteries, defense grid supercomputer... Um... Then, like, a field disruptor and a communications jammer. Yeah, and then as many ion cannons as they can hold. Yeah, that makes sense. Just basically fill them up as, um, yeah, as things that will help our war efforts. Cool, next one. 
bunch more gun batteries. I don't know if gun is better than the other one. I just go with what it has. Uh, yeah, that one. Okay. Cool. Two more guns. What's this one got? Target uplink. That's probably fine. Whatever. As long as they have the defense grid supercomputer, it actually doesn't really matter what else they have. It's okay. Oh, wait. Did I forget to... Yeah. We got to build there. We got to build there. This is the one that we're now on. Okay. More gun batteries. Uh, defense grid supercomputer. Uh, communications jammer. This, this is where I want some automation, like, that you can set up to just be like, hey, just build me what I need, you know? Like, this is what I want all of these to look like. Just build it, you know? That would be incredibly useful. We do have hangar bays. I should maybe build some of those. Maybe I should split them. Like, half hangar, half gun batteries. I mean, we do upgrade these every now and again, so... It does make sense to maybe do that. Anyway. Uh, that's fine. We'll upgrade the rest of them like that. So, okay. Uh, this one. So, gun battery, hangar base. We could split it up between uh, gun batteries, missile batteries, and um, the other one as well. Also, did I forget to do this? Nope. Oh, I, oh yeah, I forgot to do the fence platforms on that one. And on this one. Okay. Some of those. Some defense platforms. I could go double missile, double hangar. And then that gives me a nice mix. I don't know. Who knows if that's a good move or a bad move. All I know is it's a good way of getting rid of our minerals. That's all that matters. Oh, this one needs an upgrade. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, Alright, so most of them are citadels, but some are missing. Oh, this one was a trade one at one point. Okay. Let's just go like that, then. Uh, defense grid supercomputer. What's the one that... All, crew quarters is the other one that they have. Yeah, I guess we could grab that on all of them. Communications jammer. Okay, you're set. So we go... Gun. This also gives you trade protection, which is interesting. Uh, I don't know if we necessarily need them to all give trade protection, but... I mean, they do, so that sounds cool. Um, might mean that we just end up making more money, naturally. What's this? Oh, the Curator Think Tank. Oh, alright, yeah, of course. We'll grab that. Grab that. And grab this. Next one. Um, you know what? Let's mix that up, have one of each. I could also, I have been realizing, and we might do this. This is all just an upgrade as we go kind of thing. But we could build, yeah, we could do this and just get anchorages so that we can actually, um, well, get more fleets, essentially. Yeah, like, if we got naval logistics with our anchorages, that could be an interesting uh, thing to do. Just get us even more ability to have more fleets. It's an intriguing idea. I mean, we don't necessarily need it, but, I mean, it is intriguing. I do like them having the ability to defend themselves for at least 10 seconds, though, to let us get there. Like, this one's full anchorages. It's all about the anchorage. Okay, we're about to run out of resources, you'll be happy to hear. Also, I've not been upgrading, as I should have. When did I forget to, stop to upgrade? That one. Oh, wait, you're a... You're the one I shouldn't upgrade. Can I not... That was really difficult to remove them from the, uh, list. Yeah, this is difficult to remove them. Yeah. Okay. That's fine, because it keeps popping up. The reason I shouldn't do that is that because it actually can't build those yet. Yeah, we're about to run out now that I'm actually building ion cannons. There we go. Now, now we're into talking about individual numbers. Why can you not build anything? Oh, because you already are. We'll get a couple ion cannons, and then we're pretty much out of money, but let's just see. Uh, you already have a queued construction. Oh, you also need an upgrade on your previous uh, ones that you have? Alright. Cool. Zaffa. Uh, already has queued constructions. 
A couple of those were out of resources. Cool. Now we can play the game. Yeah, now we can unpause. Let's go fastest and let it all go. I believe we have people moving up towards the Cauldronites for a war. But we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. Commercial packs done. Got another 66 years potentially until we uh, get the end game events. We'll see though. I don't know if they happen directly on the date or whether it's like a mean time to happen, like it'll happen around that time. Who knows? It's, um, yeah, first time doing them, so we'll see. Uh, new branch is opened. Awesome. Um, I have noticed though. Having to do all of the building over and over again, I'm actually learning a lot more about how to, uh, like, what things are actually useful once the game continues, which is going to be very useful next time we play. Like, a, a next series after this is going to be so much better in terms of what we're building, because I'll have some con, like, you know, I'll have something in my mind, like, yeah, okay, if we don't build, like, a, a good base of minerals, oh, the crimes redu reduced again, weird. But, like, if I don't have a good base of minerals, we're never going to be able to build, so I need to get that. We need to get some alloys so we can get ships. And ships are going to be more important. Alloys are going to be more important in a mid-game, and then they're going to fall off a little bit. Um, well, minerals kind of stay there. Energy credits, kind of pointless early game. But later on, you need to just keep them at a certain level. And beyond that, they're actually kind of useless as well. It's kind of an interesting, uh, like, working out what's still useful. While it's consumer goods... Like, I would say garbage early game, but late game, they start to get really, really, really good. So, it's interesting. Uh, so, there's five year plans passed, so I believe that our diplomatic weight just increased, yeah, even more. That's good. So, we're actually downvoting pretty much everything, apart from this, which we're abstaining on, because we want the Conservation Act to go through first. Interesting. Anyway. I'm still going to try and let time move forward just a little bit this episode because I do realize there was a lot complete. of building. Oh, we're going to get a lot of that as well. Oh, that was our research station. Yeah. Uh, the one that got destroyed by pirates. Are we up here yet? No. We are not up here yet. But then again, I have also had the game on paused for about 10 seconds, so that would probably explain it. Ooh, yeah. Why can't you even select the mining Technology stations? Technology discovered. There must be some other race that can do something with those. Uh, let's get, I don't know. Defense platform damage, sure. The Industrial Revolution. The alien civilization on Trimus 3 has entered a new era of history. Having developed into a fully industrialized society, the dramatic effects of this revolution are felt across the planet. Factories have sprung up everywhere, improved medicines have resulted in increasing population growth, and new scientific in innovations are appearing at an alarming regularity. I, I think I might want the next one that I do to have a lot more interaction with things like that. Because we're very, we're very hands-off right now. I think I'd like to have the next one that I do be a lot more interactive with other um, empires. Aggressively, diplomatically, um, uplifting species, like ver very much care about what species we have as well. Right now I'm like, we just have all the species. I, I, I played Pokemon, I collected them all. But what would be nice to do is just like, oh hey, I'm just gonna uplift some species and make and get, have the of them a purpose. Like this is gonna be our uh, fighting species or something, or you know, something like that. That could be a cool way to do things. Because right now I'm very much just like, we're peaceful. We're, pe we're peaceful folk, for the most part. It might not seem so with the wars, but you know, to be fair, the wars are generally like a hundred years apart. That's pretty good. That's not a bad like, amount of time for discovered. wars. Anyway, let's have a look here. So we got shield harmonics, so let's grab... I don't know, energy weapon damage. Sure. But yeah. I mean, the, the game kind of, it needs you to have some amount of war in it because that's your main diplomatic tool for the most part. But, um, yeah, yeah, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what else we can do. I don't know what other options are available because we are very much kind of peaceful. But like, if we go into things like policies here, you got all of this stuff and we just didn't even touch because we're like, well, we're on what we need to do, passive study. Can't enlighten, can't resettle, can't appropriate land, you know. None of that sort of stuff. 
But if we had things like resettling, a lot of our planetary concerns would be a lot easier because we just say, oh, they have, uh, we've got a planet full of specialists and there's some workers here that are unhappy. We settle the workers to our, you know, mining planet. And we settle the specialists on the mining planet over to this planet. And things would be a lot better. But anyway, yeah. Things for later. Are we actually running low on food? Like, I don't actually know how much our food, uh, how low it is, because right now we're, we're buying some in. What I might do is change this trade slightly. I think I'm actually going to buy 500, and I'm going to set up my max price to 2. Yeah. There we go. So that should now buy them each month, I reckon. And we should be minus 40 or something, generally. But we'll see. We are slowly raising the price of apples, but that's all right. Hey, some of the reds went away on the right-hand side. That's what I like to see. Oh, who died? Probably a governor. Yeah, a governor died. Um, let's get ourselves a new governor. Uh, that one seems good. Right. And continue. Also, is it just me or the prices for Technology governors? Do discovered. they just not matter at all? Like, it, at least at this point in the game, it's like... Oh, you know, your, uh, your guys all cost two each. Oh, I, yeah, but you're making 4k. Just ridiculous. Anyway. Uh, let's buy some of that. I don't know if I even use that. We'll buy it. We'll buy some of this as well. Uh, then maybe some crystals. You know what? I was thinking maybe I just buy some food. No, that's fine. Uh, what have I got here? Food from jobs went up. Nice. Uh, do it again. So eat. We're now actually getting it so that we have a lot more food from jobs, which is starting to work out. Yeah. Although it's only 5% of the time, that will add up eventually to a point where we can actually afford everything. Yeah. Like, without monthly trades, we're in a bad spot, but that's okay. Hey, we're now positive. Nice. Still not enough without the monthly trade, but... Hey, it looks nice on the screen. Unlike this Empire Sprawl, but which looks horrible. But I mean, really the only punishment is technology cost, essentially. And technology just doesn't matter, so who cares? And we have so much research that we're probably over that anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Dude probably need a few more administrators around the place though, but hey, whatever. It's all right. Um, how did our fleet building go over here? They should have a new fleet here. Is this fully... Why is it red around the outside? I don't know why that's red. I'm looking at that going, that is absolutely... like Yeah, what's up with that? You can transfer a mining station to a fleet? Why would I? Wait, what? Huh. I guess you could do that... Wait. Yeah, I guess you could add a mining station to a fleet in order to say, like, these guys are going to protect it. So you'd build, like, little um, navies that protect each thing. Kind of odd. Uh, or is it because I have titans? Maybe that allows us to do something here? I don't want to transfer anything to these fleets. How... Let Twitch ships to transfer to First Fleet. That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sorry, that, that makes no sense. I don't I don't really understand what thing's happening here. Let me try it on something else. Like this one. Yeah, this has the same thing. Why why is it why do they all got mining stations can be transferred? It's a bug. Okay. Well, who knows then? Who knows? Uh, what am I building in here? I'm building this mega shipyard. Nothing right now. Okay. Uh, in which case, how much more can you have in you? You can have another 150. I don't know. Uh, how much does each destroyer cost? Two. So like 70 all of these.
I'm thinking that we're probably around... Are we around 50? Yeah, somewhere around there. It's not bad. We're like 55, 56, something like that. I don't know. We might be at 70. We're actually, we're, we're at as many shipyards as it has. We're at 20 plus 48. So we're actually at, yeah, pretty much near as 70 as we can get. By guesswork. There we go. Now we're at 70. Cool. So they should all join and that should mean that that fleet is just mega powerful. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we have one envoy not being used. Oh, right. Because we're now... Yeah, because we didn't get one while we were president or something. Or one of our envoys was doing some... Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can now go and be here just to increase our XP. But I suppose it's useful because then we get damage to endgame crisis factions, which is kind of a useful thing to have. Yeah. I suppose that might be useful before the endgame crisis. Anyway, it's all alright. Surveyor active. Hey, we got another five uh, research somewhere. Hopefully we already have a research station there. Yeah, otherwise trying to find it is a real pain. Don't entirely know what's up with my ships. I hope it's not a permanent bug. We should still be able to guide them. It's just a very odd thing. It might be something I'm press. I might Maybe I pressed something that did it, or maybe like I have a key that's stuck or something. I don't know. I don't entirely know. It, it didn't seem to make any sense what it was saying either in terms of my knowledge of the game, so I think it might just be a bug. But yeah, hopefully it goes away. Do I not have another fleet heading up there? Uh, oh, you're my destroyer fleet? Yeah, I definitely want you two to merge, but we'll wait until that's done. Where's my other fleet that's heading up there? Uh, so you're moving here. Oh, you're, you're there. All right, cool. So we're now in position for the war. Construction complete. What's that? Oh, another mining station. Yeah, because it's doing the mining stations over here and getting us a ton more minerals. Although we're, our mineral gain has dropped quite significantly. That must be from destroying some of the minerals while we were building. Yeah. Construction complete. I didn't expect. I didn't think we went that far. But okay, that's fine. We still have ninety-eight thousand. So it's not bad. It's just interesting. Anyway. Uh, what I think we might do is we might end the episode there, and next time I might declare a war on the Codronites. See you then. Goodbye.